Oops. After bringing the drama with a capital D for eight feud-filled seasons, Lisa Rinna is moving on from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Yes. You are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. And Lisa says she has no regrets now that she's stepped away from the hit Bravo show. I love everything that I get to do, okay? I feel like I'm so fortunate in this business to get to work. So um, everything I've done, every job I've had, I've enjoyed it. How has life changed for you since you have decided to step back from Housewives? Um, life is great. Life <laughs> fantastic, I have to say. Um, Life is uh, so fun. I've been traveling. I've been to Paris a number of times. I've been to London. I'm having a ball. And also, it's spring. So, you know, you just feel good in the springtime and, and yes. it's, it's, you know, rebirth. And I, I'm very honored and pleased. I use the word honored because I feel so blessed and just to be able to live the life that we live and do all the things that I've gotten to do. You know, I've been in this business for 30 four years, including stints on Days of Our Lives. Is there any action in this town? And Melrose Place. Peter, what's wrong? I've had a lot of reiterations of Lisa Rinna. And so I'm excited to see and be in this next iteration. And could that next iteration be a reality show with her husband, Harry Hamlin? I uh, have been doing one such thing, not one such thing, but I have done a fabulous CR fashion book interview where they asked me if I would go back to reality television and I said never say never I mean I remember when I did the soaps and I left days of our lives and they said would you ever do it again and I said well you can never say never you know yeah. I probably would revisit Billy Reed who's the character I played on days of our lives forever I mean it's hard to for me, you know, I say yes to almost everything. So <laughs> it's hard for me to say no. And that's why I say never say never, but I see myself acting again. I mean, I'm an actor. Let's really go back to what I what I came into this business to do was to act. And so, um, you know, there may be something in the works that could be very exciting that I will get to share sooner than later. Right now, Lisa's sharing how she looks so fit and fabulous at 59. It's very psychological too. It yes. really is. And I refuse to age gracefully. I am not, I love my Jamie Lee Curtis, but I'm not Jamie Lee Curtis and I'm the opposite. And I will do everything I can to stay fresh as a daisy. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. I love and, it. And you know what? I think that's what makes the world go round. And yes. I totally respect and honor people that ch choose to do it a different way. You look absolutely amazing. What are some of your beauty secrets, you know, that we can incorporate into our own lives? I think it really does come down to, and it's gonna sound kind of cliche, it really does come down to, are you happy in your life or are you not? Yeah. And when you are happy and feeling good, you look better, period, end of story. And it goes vice versa too. If you look good and you take care of yourself, you're most likely gonna feel better. So yeah. I could go on and on. We could go down a list of things, but truly, like I, I'm really starting to get to the bottom of, you know, why why am I this vibrant at my age? And I am, I do, I do think that, you know, for 59 years old, it's not normal. But does she have a secret to getting those full plump lips she's famous for? Her new line of Rena Beauty brand oils. It's the lip plumping oil. It's got a little bit of mint to it. So over time, it plumps your lips 20% bigger. Ooh. So it's not instant gratification, which we all <laughs> love, but we love long-term also. So after 28 days of using this consistently, your lips will be 20% bigger. We started with the gloss. We started with the lip plumping gloss, which people really seem to love. And so we thought, you know, the oils are very, it's very trendy to do an oil right now. And so we looked into it. We thought, you know, it's a really great way to keep your lips moist. Yeah. So we have the gloss. We also start, we started with the regular lip kit and the gloss, mm -hmm. and that's a stickier, heavier version. And I do like that. And that's of course why I made it that way. But there are times that I want a little bit lighter touch. You know, it's kind of like your wardrobe. Sometimes you want to yeah. wear a dress. Sometimes you want to wear a suit. Sometimes you want to wear pants. So that's the way I look at my lip products. It just depends on what I want to do. And sometimes I layer them all on at once. <laughs> love it. I love options. We love options. It's what the people want.